All right, today we're going to do a viewer requested video, which is ballistic visual effects implemented into first person shooter template. Um, in this video, it will also be multiplayer replicated, so we won't have a second video like survival game kit one. So, without further ado, we'll get into that. First thing you're going to want to do is create a ballistic visual effects project or blank one like I have here and uh, then you're going to want to you can just pause the video when you need to and uh, once you do that you're going to want to right click on the folder here migrate and click OK uh, navigate to your folder, your con your folder. Um, I'm doing an FPS tutorial content, and inside your content folder, um, click, click select folder, and then it'll copy over all the files. I'm gonna pause this in case it takes a while. Might not. Usually only takes like 30 seconds. Okay, so once you do that, you'll get the content migrated right there. Now you can close out of this. And in your project, you'll have this and first person shooter. You want to open up your project settings. And uh, I'm going to have this in the download link in the uh, description below for you guys to download. Um, you want to go to your collision, memorize melee and weapon collision because you're going to need to put those back. Import, and then documents, um, and collision. And once you open your collision, you'll notice that nothing really happens. If you memorize melee and weapon collision, close out of this, and then reopen it. And then when you go in your collision, they'll have ballistic VFX and collision object channels. And then you want to add back your trace channels, which are melee and weapon collision. And they're both blocking. And uh, if you do that, you can close out of this. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is open up base weapon. Um, okay, you're going to want to go to the event graph of base weapon, which is, mine's already open, but you want to click here, double click event graph, and you want to, okay, so it's already multicasting, so you want to, want to go right into the, to here, and where everything is being and then in here you're going to want to remove basically everything because we're going to use ballistic visual effects instead of the default so just select everything beyond cast execution execute cosmetic event and delete um, you want to drag out from here and um, spawn actor from class and search qubit 
and impact FX spawner. Um, we're going to drag it up here, type in make transform. Um, location is going to be the impact point, impact normal is going to be the rotation. Um, hit result, we're going to need to create a new one over here. So let's drag it over here to the blank area of the node and set that in. And uh, once you do that, you want to go up here a little bit to the move this down a little bit. Now there's a hit result here. You want to drag that up into there. And uh, always spawn. Um, impact speed. Let's just set this to 50,000. <coughs> 50,000. And I think that is everything we need to do in here. Now we compile, save, and we're just going to click play. We're going to get a few errors, I think. No, we're not going to get a few errors. I'm just going to test out. Okay, we're going to forgot the set of service type. So. We're going to go into, I'm just going to test it out with this material, click on the object, and set this to um, metal. Metal looks nice. Let me shoot it. And just double checking everything here. Alt. Yeah. Should be errors popping up though. Let me go check my copy and check the exact location. Something with the AI and the bullet. Okay, I'm just gonna pause the video here for one moment. Load up my head and then take a look at it. Okay, um, so I kind of zoned out for a second. Forgot to import the other parts of the project settings. So you want to go to Edit, Project Settings, go to Physics, Import, and what it, and what you downloaded before. You want to open that up and click Physics. Open and rendering import. Open that up again. Click rendering and open. Pretty sure that should be the fix for it. No. Okay, one second. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'll figure it out quickly. Okay, so there was a few references to this I forgot to get. So you want to, in your BP base, we base weapon, from where you put this, the Cubit Impact FX spawner, you want to scroll up here a little bit, right click. Find references, and there's two ones right here, obviously, and ones right here. And those hit results for yours will be I'll click will be unconnected. So I'm gonna drag it a hit result, 
and plug it into the array element. Then you want to go back to your showcase, which mine's rush right now. Search for bullet and open up BP bullet. And in the event graph, from the tick event, I'm going to scroll over to server plate impact effects. And from that, you're going to want to drag into this and put it in the array element here. And hit result. Compile and save. And that's the only one in here. And that should fix for your bullets. If you set one, anything defaulted, anything will be defaulted, but this is metal. Pile and save this. Um, there will also be an error with your AI bullets. You want to search base AI pawn. And in here, I'll click find results. If you don't have it there, window find results. Server play impact effects. And there's one. I'm going to connect this to the array element here. Compile and save. And now that should be everything. And I'm going to show you in two screens just to show you that it's replicated. It's a little smaller. Okay, bring this one over. And then we'll bring this one over. Let's now for metal. This is the default. Let me know it's everything's playing perfectly in both. I'm gonna set nothing to player, so it's just default right now. And uh, well, yeah, that's about everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you had everything working properly. If you have any questions or if you'd like me to do something else if you have a request for a video um please leave it in the comments or join my discord i'm more active in discord well i'm pretty active on youtube as well but i'm always on discord i have it on my phone and everything else it's just easier to get a hold of people but uh like and subscribe to let me know that you enjoyed the video and would like more thank you for watching